give me an idea from your perspective about what a customer does when they take delivery of Happy or Not, right? I mean, how fast is it from them taking delivery of a device yeah. to getting feedback and then, you know, when they can start to look at this stuff and take action from it, it becomes mm -hmm. statistically valid. I mean, how does that look? Yeah, I mean, it, believe it or not, it happens extremely quickly. You know, we try to make everything as simple as we possibly can for our customers, you know, in line with the simplicity of our device. So we get all the information ahead of time. The devices are delivered, fully set up, programmed, everything. You plug them in and they're ready to go. They immediately connect to the cloud and they're immediately ready to gather feedback from your customer base. Questions already there, the follow-up's already there, uh, everything is ready to go. Then you put it at the door, uh, and you know, just a simple example, you put it at the door where people exit, and they walk by, and 10, 20% of all foot traffic on the low side will give feedback. Uh, the devices are very engaging, you know, it's a bright tablet, the little uh, smiley faces will jump around as you can see back there, you guys may have noticed on the, uh, on the tablet those things are moving around a little bit. So it tries to draw a little attention to your customer, or from your customers. And within a couple hours, you can, depending on how much foot traffic you have in your store, depending on the environment, if it's in like a high traffic um, transportation area or in a grocery store where there's just lots of people going in and out all the time, you're going to get a lot of feedback very quickly. So if you have a thousand people going in and out of your store every day on the low side, you're gonna get at least a hundred feedbacks most likely. And my guess is that using the more traditional ways, whether it's a receipt survey or waiting for Google reviews, it would take you six months to get a hundred feedbacks uh, if you're lucky uh, using the more traditional ways. So by the end of the day, even in the middle of the day, uh, you could have some information uh, from the open text comments, from the alerts, and that's something we, I should have mentioned. The, the real-time alerts that are provided by our service can tell you immediately if there's a problem. And you can react to it. You could have an, an alert in the first half an hour. Uh, let's say that, you know, Susie at Checkstand 5 is having a bad day and she's being a little, you know, not so nice with the customers. As they're leaving, they can, you know, maybe they put an unhappy face because she wasn't friendly. And maybe they do that a few times and all of a sudden, the store manager, the district manager, and whoever you want can get an alert letting you know that, hey, there's a problem at the store. Let's see if you can work out what that is. You look at the feedback, bingo, Susie's not having a good day. Let's go give her an extra break. Maybe she's overworked. Maybe she needs, maybe she's having a rough day. You know, let's, let's solve that problem. And immediately, you can have that immediate service recovery. So when you start happy or not, you can start making changes and delivering things that are going to improve your business within hours. Uh, and the alternative, if, you, if it's not going to be that quick, uh, you're going to see massive amounts of feedback in a very short period of time. Just to give an example, we have a, uh, a convenience store chain with around 60 locations. And in one year, there are over 1 million feedbacks. This is in a convenience store, 1 million. And this is, this is it's, allowed, it's almost like having for lack of a better analogy, a heart monitor on your business all the time. You constantly have your finger on the pulse of exactly what's going on in your business from the morning uh, that you, the moment you open till the moment you close. 